Hi guys, welcome back to Mank Bosses Goals Miniature. And as you can see, we have light now. The two lamps I was using, that one there and that one there and that one. Got some 24 volt LED strips from eBay. I will post a link down in the description below. We've got, uh, they are three meter strips, I think they are, each. They are 24 volt, this, this one though, and the reason I've done 24 volts is the simple fact that when I had the ticket machine and the destination blinds, I had a 24 volt AC to DC adapter that does 15 amps, so that's got plenty. So that's going to power all my lights. I'm going to get another two rolls, I know, you can't believe it. I'm going to get another two down the centre, and then this place then is fully illuminated. I mean, it's pretty illuminated now, but just adding that bit more to it. The other thing I've done today, bear in mind I've only just come up here, is I've brought the old MacBook up here, uh, Mini Mac, and that's going to be running the JMR, JMRI software, which is going to do the DCC and the points and everything else. I'm just making sure it still works. But I don't have a keyboard, and I don't think you can get an on-screen keyboard, but it still works, so just need to get the keyboard, and then we're laughing, so that will sit up here, not too sure, probably going to get a smaller screen for it to be honest, um, just a little 4x3 monitor will do the trick. Uh, I could maybe stick in that corner or down in that corner, something like that, just out of the way. Uh, either that or have it bolted to the side here because this is not going to be part of the diorama. Might be, I'm not too sure yet. But now we've got light, you can see just how dirty the track is in places, and I'll just reinforce that by getting a rubber you'll see that that section there is really dirty so it went from dull to really bright so yeah and it's the same story over here steel stuff you can see where the trains had trouble running it's hard to capture on camera but you've got quite a bit there, I mean even if I just rub it, you can see how shiny it becomes from how dull sections are, so got a lot of track cleaning to do that's for sure, uh, you see in the trains we're having issues there and clearly see why look how dull that track is that track is filthy so yeah some work to do whilst I've just remembered stick here's on the lid there I've got this to get rid of Trains will be able to pass over that now. The other thing that should pretty much work now, or will do once I finish the wiring, is all that track. I've got enough wiring to sort it, so that track will all become active. At the moment, we're still running. I've got put some clips down there, haven't I? At the moment, we've just got these running. The two lines 
Uh, I've not tried it today. I've just come up to put the lights up. Uh, but yeah, you can see how dull the track is in so many places. And that is obviously why it doesn't work. The track's just dull from not being used, being stored. Don't forget, I got all this second hand essentially. Um, from what would be suspected as a non running. Well, but you have sections like that there. Don't know if you can see that. Where it's dull because of probably glue. Yeah. Do that and look how shiny that is. Yeah, we've got another really dull section there. Look at that. Let's see. It's coming up. There's dull sections all over this. This one's clearly very rare, was very rarely used as it's completely a different colour. Yeah, uh, obviously I mentioned in the last video these points need motors. I need to salvage the motors. But I've not really I've not come up here because I can't see what I'm doing. Where now I've got plenty of light. So now you can actually get a real sensation to how big this is. This is roughly 10 foot down this way, so that's about 10 foot. I'd say that's probably about 5 foot. Right, number 10 and then 5 across again. Um, I've obviously got all this area that I need to decide with Jade what to do. So this track is it's going to be far from permanent. I'm not that happy with it how it is I might get some fixed track rather than flexi track to do it um, and I've just got loads of room for to be able to do stuff in but nothing there um, so like, I don't know whether to point off it here come round as a third line, have a bit of a freight yard there or something, I've no idea, um, just because there is really a, it's not a lack of room, there's loads of room, but at the moment I've got fiddle yard and station, so it'd be nice to have somewhere for the goods to go, you know, a bit of a shunting puzzle to go on or something like that. Uh, obviously I have my little bit of a yard back here which is buried under tools at the moment. Um, so it would be nice to have a bit of a yard sort of thing going on at some point. Um, but it's more, I'm just going with it as it is, so to speak. I'm just seeing where we end up you see it's getting all that clean off so it's probably going to be a cleaning session at some point um, and then a wiring session because I'm going to have to sort out wiring to get these to work me in the yard. As you can see there is feeders in there I just need to connect to them um, which is not too bad but I've got to tidy up some of this wiring because like this is the 16 volts AC oh no 12 volt DC I've got over to that one over to the point motors which I can now actually show you working because you can see 
So all of them work. I've got this bit of track here which I don't know what to do with. Because we're very much at the limits here of room. Um, because this point's so far forward and that curve has to be so tight to be able to get that in. So I don't know what to do about that one there. Um, but yeah. But anyway. I'm going to have to um, love yous and leave yous. I should have an update again very soon. I should have some interesting kit building videos coming next month. Um, well, after the 15th when I get paid. Got some stuff to be ordered and then we should have some kit building videos. Um, where I'm going to be building the PC version for the power. power is still on. The power is still on. There we go. And then we should be getting some DCC stuff ready. What have you and hopefully we should be able to not have to keep taking trains off the tracks. Uh, and we should be going from there. So thank you so much for watching. If you are enjoying this, please do go check out mankbusses.com. Uh, we have got Going Miniature on there, as well as Mankbusses Goes Miniature on YouTube, where eventually all this stuff will be switched over to directly there. But do go subscribe there, support us there, and it will mean a lot. Wow. These LEDs must draw a bit, because that fan is switched on, and that is blowing hot. Wow, okay. Right, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you later. Bye for now.